last session, we're going to review our six different people groups. We're going to look at the map and where they were when they lived here in Colorado and what happened to them. Now, part of what I would like you to do is get your map out and you'll need some color, colored markers or crayons would work in order to do this last review. Let's take a look at our map and we'll start with the ancestral Puebloans. You'll remember they lived down here in the Mesa Verde Four Corners area, but they don't live there today. Where did they go and why did they go? Remember, it was drought. It was very dry and they couldn't grow very good corn. And so they moved south and some of them went over here to Arizona and others are in New Mexico. And today, descendants of the ancestral Puebloan live in Arizona and New Mexico. I would like you to take with your marker and put an X over the corn stalk that is in the Four Corners area. And then later, when we finish here, I'm going to ask you to go back and draw a symbol where they are today. Let's take a look at the Ute. Now, the Ute were up roaming the western slopes, but we know that they're not doing that any longer. So, with your marker, I want you to put an X over the horse icon. And then later on, I want you to draw a symbol. Maybe you'll use a blue uh, marker for the color of the horse. But I'd like you to put the horse or the, uh, the symbol here in Utah. Remember we said they were in a reservation, moved to a reservation in Utah. And they were in two different reservations down here in southern Colorado. Okay, in the, uh, the next one we want to look at is over on this side, and that's the Cheyenne and Arapaho. Remember, they roamed the Great Plains uh, hunting bison, but they're not there today. Just like the Ute, they were moved to reservations. Some of them are up in Wyoming, others are down on a reservation in Oklahoma. Put an X on the bow and arrow that's on your map, and then later on, I want you to draw symbols for where they went, up in Wyoming and down in Oklahoma. Another group that we looked at was the miners. The miners, you'll remember, were up in the, the mountains of Colorado. They were not only in our area, but even down here in, in this area. Well, the gold and the silver dwindled out and they are no longer mining. And in fact, some of them stayed in Colorado, but a lot of them went on to look for gold somewhere else. And then, oh, we forgot the mountain men. The mountain men, what happened to them? Well, the fashion changed. Remember, men were not wearing beaver top hats. They went to silk top hats. And so the mountain men stopped trapping beavers. Some of them became guides. Others became merchants in other parts of Colorado. And then finally, we talked about the Hispanos. And the Hispanos came up from New Mexico and settled in the uh, San Luis Valley. And they are still living today in Colorado. Now I'd like you to look at the back section of your workbook where it says final wrap up because there are some things I'd like you to do. I'd like you to uh, go back and put uh, symbols where the uh, different groups are living today. And then I want you to think about the groups and think about what contribution when they were in Colorado, did they make to our state? An example would be the Hispanos. I love spicy Mexican food. 
the Hispanos brought chilies to Colorado to spice up the food. So I'd like you to think about what contributions did the six groups make to our state? I think about the Hispanos and the chilies that they brought to our state. I love hot, spicy food. And so I would say one of the contributions that the Hispanos made was in the area of chilies. Think about the other groups and see what you come up with. So then I'd like you to think about what contribution can you make to our state? Maybe you could become a doctor and help serve in the hospitals in our areas, or maybe a teacher like me and incite excitement for history. What would you do to make a difference in our state? And then I'd like you to think about the artifact box. I'd like you to think about what kind of artifacts would you put in your box? Like my cell phone that I put in my box, what would you put in that would tell your story? Now, some of you may be descendants of one of the groups that we talked about. Others, like me, came to Colorado for other reasons, all sorts of reasons. I came because I love to ski. Some families come because there's work here for them. Colorado, both today and in the past, has been made up of different people from different places and backgrounds. But together, we all contribute and make this our Colorado.